Yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, he want that. Mm -hmm. Cali. What is up, YouTube? What is up, you guys? My name is Black Fairy. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for coming to this channel and watching this video. So we're gonna get straight into it, okay? I'm on IMR Scary Tales channel. And I've been seeing a lot of people talk about their um, horror short stories and saying that they're really good. So we're going to check out the latest one that was posted a day ago. It's called Three True Panera Bread Horror Stories Animated. If you guys don't know what Panera Bread is, it's like a place you can go get food from. Honestly, me personally, I'm not even going to hold you. I'm not even going to hold you. I never ate from there, but I think I went it like one time. But it was with my mother, so it wasn't nothing for me. I never ate from Panera Bread before. So if y'all ate from there, comment down below and tell me like if their food is good. I heard that they're overrated and their prices is expensive. Don't mind me, I have this on. Let me see if I can take this off. Please, God, please. Don't have my lace looking crazy. Let me back up so y'all can't see it. Cause I don't want y'all to be talking about my lace. I mean, let me not talk yet. Hold on. I mean, it don't look that bad. Right here, look a little. Right here, look a little flaky. But we gonna just act like that. That flake ain't there. We gonna. What we about to do? Cause <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me just fix this a little. What can I do, y'all? It's supposed to be a, a um let me see this makeup brush <laughs> i'm about to take this makeup brush this is supposed to be a freaking reaction video not a hair video girl should i have this done for i hopped up on here you know, i feel like i'm making it worse okay y'all yeah we're gonna act like we're gonna act like <laughs> we i did my hair myself so and I'm not a, a, a hair salad, so we're gonna act like my lace is what lace right now. That, that's how we're gonna act, okay? Let's let's get straight into this this mind y'all, it's 12 29 a.m. in the morning and it's late, so my daughter's sleeping over there, so I'm not scared because I got somebody in the room with me. If I didn't have her in this room with me, I would not be watching this right now because I am scary. True Panera Bread. Wait, is this like a... Is, is this like real footage? Because if it is, I don't want to see it. I'm going to be scared. I'm scary, y'all. Hold on. I'm scared. Stop. Why am I so scary? I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because I don't, I hate. Okay, I feel better now that it's not as loud. Hold on, still loud. He looks drunk. Oh no. This better be fake. This story is loosely based on the above footage where a chef can be seen working in a restaurant kitchen. He seemed perfectly fine and even interacted with the delivery guy who came to talk to him. But once the delivery man left, the chef started acting weird. His behavior seemed like he was being possessed by some unknown evil, leading to a horrible accident. I am our scary tales presents you with a spine-chilling story based on this true found footage. That's when our true. town got its first Panera Bread outlet, I decided to apply for a part-time job. I had a scooter, so I could easily do deliveries. On my first day at work, it was Carl who came to talk to me first. Carl was the chef there and had a good reputation for his cooking skill. Every loaf of bread he baked turned out to be perfect. Okay, Carl. Their mouth-watering smell and warmth put a smile on the customer's face. Carl, Carl never bragged about his culinary skills, 
and maybe that's why people loved him more. His yeah, humble we love nature a and welcoming that, attitude made him approachable to strangers. Handing me my uniform, he said. Welcome to the Panera Bread family. Let me know if you ever need anything, Kelly. Thanks, Carl. You are the sweetest. Slowly, I got accustomed to the restaurant and my job. Everything was going well, when suddenly, Carl's mother died. Little did I know that Carl adored his mom. All that he knew about baking bread... Is he the one who put his head in the, in the fryer? After her funeral, when he came back, I expected to see him in bad shape. But to all of our surprise, he looked just Oh my god, fine. look at the hand. He wasn't smiling and talking like he used to. Aww. But he didn't say a single thing about his mother. Because he was he hurt, y'all. He mostly kept to himself and finished his job. We were about to close the restaurant when I decided to talk to him. I don't know why I felt odd about his behavior and this sudden toughness that he acquired after losing his mother. He was folding his apron when I entered the kitchen. Hey. Hi, Kelly. Um, done for the day? Uh, yeah. Look, I know you're going through a tough time, and it's not easy to deal with the death of your loved ones, but I want you to know that I'm with you. If ever I could be of any help, just let me know. That was sweet. Sure. Uh, I, I will. His straight-cut replies made me understand that he didn't want to talk about this. So, he was without numb. interfering much, I bid him good night and turned to leave. That's when he stopped me. Kelly? Yes? If I say something, will you believe me? Like what? My what, mom is with me. Of course she is, Carl. She's watching over you from heaven. No, no. That's not what I meant. Then what? My mom is with me, like, like inside me or around me. Whoa. I can't explain it, but I feel her. I feel her in that house. I'm going to pause right there because what would y'all do in that situation if that was you and somebody tell you, like, if I tell you something, like, you know, my mother is with me. She's, like, inside. Because normally when people say that, you react like how she did. Like, oh, yeah, of course she's with you. She's always going to be with you in spirit not physically in your body he didn't even say like she's with me like around me he said she's inside of me that's a little crazy i don't know what i would say i would be like wow that's crazy but i'm about to clock out though so i'm gonna holla at you because oh, what i feel her here too she watches me standing in that corner when i bake oh no i would have what Oh, he must be thinking I'm crazy, right? No. No. I think it's the sorrow that's making you feel this way. It happens when we... Suddenly, he leaned close to my oh, face no. and said in a creepy voice, She's getting angry. What? She's here. She doesn't like the fact that I'm telling all of this to you. I, I, I better go home. He quickly grabbed his bag. I would have been like, well, call. Why are you telling me this? Tell your mother I'm sorry. I didn't force this out of you. I'm about to dip though. And I would have never came back to work the next day. You would not have caught me there. I am too scary. Your mother's standing in what corner? What corner? Uh-uh. And left the Panera Bread outlet abruptly. I stood in the empty kitchen like a clueless six-year-old trying to figure out what just happened. I felt goosebumps as my eyes you didn't leave the with him? slowly. I would have left with him. I stared at the dark corner Before that him. Carl pointed out, and I felt a cold shiver down mm -hmm. my spine. That night, after this coming home, me the I just couldn't help but ponder on the words Carl said to me. His mother is with him? How is that even possible? I went to her funeral myself. I saw her lifeless body lying in the coffin. I was there when she was buried in the church cemetery. Then how can she? There's no way I'm going to accept a ghostly tale. The next morning, waking up, I decided to talk to our boss about Carl's weird behavior. Yeah, I was like... It was such that this guy was starting to lose his mind, and I couldn't let that happen. I went to work in the evening. 
Carl was working in the kitchen. I would have never usual. worked the night shift but ever again. Time, he didn't greet me like he used to. Rather, he was avoiding me like and a I would have been avoiding him too. Looking at me, keeping to the minimum me, whenever the chance of conversation came. So I didn't bother him either at that moment. I decided to talk to him one more time before going to our boss. I set out for the night delivery, and when I came back, it was closing time already. The boss had left, and our cleaning guy was taking out the trash. It was... Come on, ads. Who gonna give me money to pay for all the Just me and Carl in the restaurant, so I took the opportunity. I went to the kitchen. Carl was busy wrapping up. He was baking the last batch. Hey, how are you today? He turned at me and smiled oh, in no. an eerie way. Oh no. Never been better, Kelly. You know you can always talk to me. Yes, <laughs> Kelly. Yes, of course. Saying this, he looked at me and his eyes froze. Kelly, are you not learning, Kelly? You just couldn't sleep at night. Why would you want this man to confide in you again about his mother that he said is standing in that corner? You don't want to sleep again? What is wrong with this girl? He stopped blinking or even moving. Carl? Carl? I called out to him, but he didn't reply. Suddenly, his body started to shake violently. I like he was so having quick. an attack or something. I screamed again. Carl? 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 What's happening to you? She's back. She is. The voice he See, spoke when I in that sentence, I been so gone. distorted that I couldn't believe it was coming from a human. I ran to grab him, and just then, his head started to turn up in a very scary oh, no. way. His eyes widened. His mouth opened into a silent scream while he faced the ceiling. What happened next will forever be imprinted in my memory. You stood there Carl and you watched was that. standing like right dummy. next to the deep fryer. His body went out of his control as if someone else was operating it. He slowly started to bend down, and I realized that a huge tragedy was about to take place. Carl was about to drop down in that hot, Flaming and you fryer. stood and watched. I was so shocked and scared by this scenario that I forgot to move. Right in front of my eyes, he did. I couldn't have had been hurting. I don't want to see something traumatic like that. Once he would have turned around and said what he said with a different voice that you said, his voice sounded different, that you didn't expect that voice out of a human, I would have been gone. Why would you stay there and watch this whole thing play out? It's something a little... I understand being scared. And it's like you you be so stuck and you don't know what to do. But sometimes common sense have to say, girl, run. I'm not watching no man put his head in the deep fryer. That's too traumatizing. I would never let that go. Ever. His own face in the fryer. And I could hear a loud crying sound mixed with a suppressed scream. Oh my god! I could see his face getting fried. He was trying to get up, but something or someone was pushing his head deep into that hot, boiling oil. Did his mother not I love couldn't him or stand the scene and fainted after letting out a spine chilling scream. When I woke Girl. up at the hospital, my parents were seen standing by my side. Two cops were there, too. Your parents are young One of them you. said, I'm sorry for what happened to your co-worker, miss. We know it's not a good time, but I have to ask some questions about his uh, tragic death. You were the last person to be with him at the time of his suicide. Suicide? You're ruling this out as a suicide? Don't tell him what Well, uh, we have the CCTV footage, ma'am. He killed himself. We came to know his mother died, and we think he was depressed about that. Yes, he was, but that doesn't explain why he would dunk his face in a deep fryer. So you explain it. I, I didn't believe him when he told me, but I think he was right all this time. Uh, right about what? That his... I couldn't tell them. No matter how much I wanted to, I just couldn't. Who would believe me? 
Who would accept the fact Nobody. that it was Carl's you mom to who possessed him to girl. kill himself that you night? Understand I couldn't watch. work in Panera mm -hmm. Bread after Carl's death. Whenever I am alone, that image of Carl's face getting exactly fried like, like a I pretzel said. still shocks my mind. I will never get the answers. What do you think? Was it a suicide? Or did something evil make him do it? Hey guys. This is what I have to say, Kelly, okay? You should have left, right? You should have never watched that. That's traumatizing. Um, as far as do I think it was something evil? Was his mother evil? Like, did he not have a good relationship with her? Because if he was so depressed when she died, that means that he really cared about her. So why would his mother take his head and dunk it in the fryer? It's beyond me. I don't know. I don't I don't know y'all comment down below and tell me what you think because that's crazy thanks so much for all the support if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please feel free to do so my name is Alex and I have a story to tell you I like that name Alex. it may seem unbelievable and you wouldn't hear about it in the most horrifying horror movie but this is one of those rare cases where reality outweighs fiction I was working at Panera Bread like any other day the hours passed very slowly and I felt like that day was going to last forever. Every once in a while a customer calls your attention and you have topics to talk about with your co-workers. But from the first moment that strange guy walked in, I knew something was wrong. The man was tall, stocky, and very muscular. He was wearing an elegant broom suit with an excellent tie. But it was very dirty and had lost some of its color. But what made him most uncomfortable was his face. It was all bruised and had many cuts, and his gaze was deep and piercing. Even so, his hair was neatly groomed, and he had a generous smile that did not denote malice. The man approached the empty box where I was, and after a few seconds there I forgot I was supposed to talk to him. We started chatting. Now I forgot. Uh, uh, sorry, sir. Uh, welcome. May I take your order? Uh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, w what did you say? I said very uncomfortably, not knowing what to answer him. I love you. Oh, oh no. thank you. You are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. I'm in love with you. All my companions who were nearby could not hold their They laughter. think that's funny? Some of them I mean, burst out laughing it would have been if I, if I was a co-worker. I was like, oh, oh nah. Meanwhile, I was Still, oh nah, back up. Like. I was just very uncomfortable. Sir, <laughs> I, I, I thank you, but uh, I'm, I'm working. Could you please thank you. ask or leave the establishment? Oh, I, I'm sorry, beautiful. I'll leave now. I don't want to disturb you while you're working. To my surprise, sorry, the man beautiful. simply turned and politely left. But as he was leaving, he turned and very politely said to me, I can't wait for you to have my children. After we left, oh my... Yo... That's hilarious. I'm not even gonna hold you. I can't wait until you have my children to another man from another man. I would have been rolling on the floor if I was a co-worker. Co-workers started to tease me. My short stature was always that. a source of ridicule. But when he started calling me Alexa, I knew they wouldn't forget about it for a while. My work shift ended in the afternoon, Not Alexa. but since it was winter, it was already dark. It was very cold and I hadn't dressed warmly, so I wanted to get home quickly. I thought about taking the usual route, but I remembered that there was an alley that served as a shortcut to save many blocks. I knew it was a stupid idea, but nothing had ever happened to me. And if I saw someone, I was just going to run. I started no, I was just going to run when you have no alley, weapon or nothing on you. But a voice crazy. Me surprised me. You can stop looking for me. My love, I've always been with you. When I turned around in surprise, oh, nah. the huge man all the time to run. My arms, and after pushing me against the wall, he started kissing me in the mouth. Even I... if it was just for a second of what surprise, a I could feel his disgusting tongue slipping between my lips and touching Ooh. my tongue. I pushed him away and started to run, but I couldn't get more than a few centimeters away when he grabbed me by the neck yeah. and with a lot of force pulled me back and put me up against the wall. Instead of kissing me. All right. Uh, what is With that? the hand that wasn't around my neck, he began to violently punch me in the stomach while he shouted. I thought 
dare you try to leave me, you little bitch? Did you forget about all our good times? Are you gonna give up on love this easy? After hitting me, he pulled your, handcuffs out of his pocket and attached my hands to the bars of a closed door in pain I put on no resistance. I was at the mercy of whatever this man wanted to do to me. Who, surprised, looked at my face. It can't be. You know what this... this miracle is. What? You're a virgin. You were waiting for me all along. I knew it. I'm not even a... Shut up. No one gave you permission to talk. What? Just leave, leave me alone. No, 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 this no. Is cool. I, I'm sorry. I, I've been very demanding with you. Loving I cry. is not easy, and I think we both should give each other a second chance. Please, no. I know what can put us back together. Yo, it's not funny. I want to cry at how creepy. It's so much happening. I just. I can't process one part at a time. It's like right after he says something, he does something else wild or say something else wild. I can't even process one thing at a time. It's just too much. It's too much. Too much. I can't. My love. What, what are you doing? Suddenly, he started to lick my feet. Yo. With each passing second, he licked me harder and harder and faster. His calm and peaceful look was gone. This man was ecstatic, totally out of control. He stood with a demented grin and dug his cold nails into my face as he slowly ran his hand down my face, peeling my skin off along the way. I watched as he was doing the same thing with oh his other hand on his face, but with eyes that denoted immeasurable pleasure. Until for no reason, he stopped, looked up at the sky, and began to scream. Yes! What a rush! He lowered his gaze and looked into my eyes. I was crying. Hey, hey, hey! Don't be like that. I don't like to see you cry. His change of attitude was hey, hey, hey. instantaneous. Now he was talking to me with a sad and melancholic voice. Tears started to come out of his eyes, and within seconds he was- They need to lock this man up and throw away the key. Lock him up, throw him six feet under, and never let this man out into the streets. He is a maniac, okay? He is a psycho. This man needs to be put away forever, literally. Crying with me. And from one moment to another, he smiled. I know what I can do to make you happier. I no, no, no. will help you. No, no, no. You fool, woman. Please don't With say a generous what smile, he reached down and pulled off my pants, leaving me in my underwear. No, no, he then no. began to run the knife across my no, no, no. leg. He started in the knees, Please. going up very slowly, no. staring at my crotch. Why? Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't. Help. Cut it off. Someone help me! You don't need any help. Now you want to scream for help? Mine, my love. Again, with a calm and polite tone. After saying that, he rested his knife on my leg, squeezed just a little bit, and moving it slowly to the side, cutting me in the process. You will die if you are not ready to love. Don't be sad. You are not the first, and you will not be the last. I don't know, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, let me go. For those who turn their back on true love will leave like leaves on an autumn afternoon. He bent down again, looking at my crotch, knife ready. Suddenly, three gang members with guns in their hands spoke to him. Well, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Exactly. That's fucked up. Furious, the psychopath rushed it's him, the gun but the distance separating them was too far, so the three gang members shot him. The psychopath fell next to me. As he died, he looked into my eyes and tearfully whispered his last words as he stretched out his arm in my direction. You were mine. His eyes went out, 
But one of them raised his gun towards me. He saw our faces. <laughs> Should I kill him? What are you doing at? Come on. Come on. Now he saw our faces. Should we kill him? This man is not worrying about telling on y'all to the cops. I think y'all just helped him from the psychomaniac. Not should we kill him? He already had a tough night. What is wrong with these people? So, so the, the pigs, pigs are coming. Just grab, grab his stuff, stuff and let's go. The pigs are and without coming. further ado, trying. one of them grabbed my backpack I'm and they crying. ran as fast as they could. The gang members were wrong. Neither the police nor anyone else came. The hours passed and passed, and I was alone there, handcuffed. Where did he live again? I'm paralyzed I don't from the really cold next to the corpse of the man who had almost killed me. I couldn't sleep all night. I didn't even have the strength to cry. The night passed very slowly until daylight, when some people saw me and ran to help me. Physically, I was fine. I didn't have much more than some bruises and cuts on my body and face. I would have been screaming all night. I would have never stayed here until morning. Damage. Unless, like, Caused I was screaming and nobody heard me. Encounter. It's something I will never be able to overcome. With Yo. That's, that's not even scary. That's like sad. You serious? Really? What? That wasn't even like... Uh, ah, like the first one was crazy. That one when I was I was scared. This one it's like great, like cuckoo, scary. Like, oh nah, oh nah. Okay, number three. This is the last one, you guys. The that summer, one. my family and I had recently moved to a place far from our previous home. I had never really liked the idea. But my mom needed us to live with her parents so they could help her take care of my two younger brothers when she went to work. Having to leave the place where I had always lived had put me in a very bad mood. Allison, she knocked on the door of my new room. Allison, it's time for lunch. Could you come downstairs? Leave me alone, mom. I could hear her sigh. I would never be able to talk to my mother like that. I know this is hard for you. As a teenager? Would you like to go out? Oh, From no. that day on, my mom started giving me money so I could go out and have fun since she thought it would help me feel better. That's how I started going to Panera Bread, my favorite coffee shop, every day. They sell coffee? That didn't make things any better. I didn't know anyone around, so I was alone. And being there made me feel melancholy. Because, in fact, in my old home, I used to go to eat at a Panera Bread. Anyway, one of those summer days, when it was especially hot, I decided to drink agave lemonade, the best one for that type of occasion. Hello. Hi, miss. Uh, what would you like to order? I want an agave lemonade and a smokehouse barbecue chicken sandwich. Sure. Uh, I, I, like I told y'all, I've never been to Panera Bread. Once I paid, the guy gave me my glass. I then waited in line for my sandwich to be delivered. A smokehouse barbecue Ooh. chicken sandwich? The person who came with my food was a blonde woman. She immediately struck me as rude, as she wasn't even bothering to look me in the eye. When well, her face looked 80, but her body looked 20 something. <laughs> as if she felt superior. Yes, yes, it's, it's mine. mine. Take, Take it. it. She, she practically, practically threw, threw the sandwich into my hand oh, no. and then turned around. Wait a minute, oh. Before Take it. down at one of the small free tables, you go get that I walked over me. to the drinks machine. They're and bugging you. You told me like that. At that moment, a strange smell reached my nose, but I didn't pay too much attention to it. I was very thirsty. So the first thing I did when I sat down was grab the glass of agave that lemonade look good. and bring it to my hold you. to start drinking. At first, it tasted as good as ever, Please don't but tell me once nothing I swallowed it, it, it left a strange taste in my mouth. Please don't tell me it's nothing it hungry. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't common either. To make sure it really tasted weird, I took a second sip. There was definitely something wrong with that drink. Since I refused to finish drinking that lemonade, 
I ate my sandwich and went over to the guy who had taken my order earlier. Hey, was it sour or something? What's wrong, miss? It's the agave lemonade. It tastes weird. I handed him the glass with the drink. Oh, I, I, I'm really sorry, miss. Do you want another drink? Or maybe a refund? Ah. Uh, I was still thirsty, so nah, give me that refund. I'm about to buy me a water on the way to somebody else. Of water, please. Yeah, you got that it. That's about right. I Don't drink nothing else from that fountain. Bottle and the remaining money, I sat down again. I was about to put on my headphones and listen to music when I started hearing some people arguing. Are you serious? The blonde girl who worked there was talking to a man while the other employee was standing next to her. It was your responsibility. I mean, how could you forget about it? This is about the clients. You can't make mistakes like that. What? Ugh, this is bullshit. Anna, if you continue with this attitude, I will have no choice but to fire you. After that, the man left, leaving the two employees alone. Go eat some shit, old man. Suddenly, she started looking in all directions as if she was searching for something. Finally, she stared at my water bottle, and then she shifted her gaze to my eyes. Almost immediately, I felt a chill run down my spine. The expression in her brown eyes was one of anger. She stayed like that, looking at me for a like, hi. and then turned around. Can I help you? What the heck? Now you Before say something? The breath, I <laughs> approached the drink machine once more. Again, I smelled a strange stench. So I inspected it. Y'all, what if it was peeing? I saw what was behind it. A lump formed in my throat at the same time that I began to feel nauseous. There were some dark stains on the wall behind the machine. What had I drunk along with the agave lemonade? I had no idea, but it was making my stomach bubble. After that, it took me several weeks to go back to the Panera Bread. Just because it was stains on the wall, I don't mean it was money and drink. I mean, that convinced me to do it. Hello, I want a uh, a chocolate croissant and a caramel latte, please. Oh, of course, that will be a total of eight fifty-eight. I nodded and paid him. It was at that moment that I realized something. The blonde girl from the other time, while she was preparing a drink, was staring at me. She didn't seem upset, but there was something unsettling about the look on her face that made me nervous. Did you hear that, Hannah? A chocolate croissant and a caramel latte. Yeah, I heard it very well. I felt an intense urge to cancel the order, but couldn't bring myself to do so, as she had already started making a caramel latte. Besides, I was sure she wouldn't dare spit in my coffee while I was looking at her. After a few minutes, she finished making the caramel latte, put the chocolate croissant on a plate, and handed it to me. Enjoy it. Her big smile was noticeably forced. You see, which made me think she was like these. Fat since she had been able to get revenge. You gotta get Finally, out, get about I walked over to a table. And started You're eating done. the chocolate croissant. Why you say me? The moment I tasted it, I could tell that the dessert was hard and had a foul taste that I couldn't get out of my mouth when I spit it out. So I drank some of the coffee, but that was even worse. It was bitter and spicy at the same time, which made me start coughing uncontrollably. Miss? Miss? In the blink of an eye, the employee was right next to me. But he didn't seem to know what to do to help me. Hannah, uh, call the supervisor. I could see supervisor, how the blonde call just looked at me without moving. Hannah, what are you doing? Suddenly, a laugh began to be heard. <laughs> Hannah? <laughs> That's what you get for being a delicate little princess bitch. <laughs> This is the bitch that tried to fuck with me the other day, Jackson. And now I gave this stupid little ant what she deserves. How did she? By this point, I was terrified. The smile on the woman's face was just sick. After a few minutes, 
the supervisor finally arrived. He and the employee helped me call an ambulance, and my mother too. That day, they had to do a gastric lavage to remove the liquid that had managed to reach my stomach. What? We're currently awaiting trial against that woman, but in the meantime, I'm staying home. I don't think I have the courage to eat in a restaurant anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god. What did she put in her drink? That's a little crazy for me. But it's like, in situations like that, it's like, you have to be the, the smart person. You, was she a teenager? I think she was a teenager. If, if so, then I understand why she went back. Because, you know, when you're young, you don't really... You don't really think too much and too deep. But if you're an adult and you went back to eat there, that would have been your fault because you should have known better. If you guys like this video, comment down below. What was the best story for you out of all three of these? Um, all three of these is different. The second one really got me. That took me for a loop because what? That was crazy. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell to get notified when I post more reactions to more scary horror short stories or whatever you want me to react to. Comment down below if you want me to react to, you know, something a little different. Also, comment down below your Instagram with what you want me to react to if you want me to shout you out. It can be your Instagram, your Twitter, your YouTube channel, whatever it is that you want me to shout out. Comment that down below with what you want me to react to next. All in one. You have to be subscribed to this channel, okay? To get that shout out. You can't be just commenting and think I'm gonna shout you out. You gotta be subscribed, okay? Okay, you gotta you gotta join the fam, alright? I don't know what I'm gonna call you guys, but this is just the beginning. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Bye. <laughs>